On July 4th, 2007, at 4 a.m., Alyssa and Michael Dunn welcomed twin girls, Madeline and Isabella, into their family. They were 5 pounds, 12 ounces, and 5 pounds, 8 ounces, so they were perfect size little girls and they surprised us and came on the 4th of July so we call them our firecracker babies. During a routine checkup the following September their pediatrician noticed Madeline's stomach was swollen. You could sense a tone change after he really started to physically examine her and you could see his face change and I think we both knew that this wasn't going to be a normal checkup. An ultrasound gave him reason to suspect she had cancer. He sent them to a local hospital for further testing. On the drive to the hospital, we feared the worst, but you know we hoped and we prayed for the best. We, we hoped that it would be routine, but deep down inside you worry. We worry it could be the worst. They said um, when we first got there, there was no way that it was cancer because she was too young. But the doctor came in shaking. That's what it is. Madeline had stage 4S neuroblastoma, a rare form of malignant cancer found in infants and young children. A soft ball-sized tumor was growing on her abdomen. Alyssa and Michael took her to the Children's Hospital of Michigan Detroit Medical Center, where they met Dr. Jeffrey Taub. As he ran tests on Madeline, her twin Isabella caught his attention. My colleague and I had a bad feeling that something was not right. We asked, can we look at Isabella's abdomen? She went for an ultrasound immediately, and unfortunately we found that she had what looked like the exact same tumor that Madeline had. Dr. Taub said surgery could lead to major complications, so the best form of treatment would be chemotherapy, although that came with its own risks. The toxicity could lead to scarring, developmental delays, or worse, death. Identical twins developing the same form of cancer at the same time is extremely rare. And the chance that both girls would survive was uncertain. So their MRI showed that their livers were massively enlarged, extremely abnormal, and that the livers were completely filled with tumor cells. Not just even one little part where you can cut out one little part of the liver and take out the tumor. It just was throughout their whole livers. The infants were separated to begin the first of four treatments. Meanwhile, the Dunn's family and friends prayed for a miracle. Things started looking grim pretty quickly. Um, they got sick really quick. And they were in so much pain. You couldn't touch their skin. It looked like it would crack. Some days were very, very hard. We would get a lot of negative news. When you're walking through that valley, you really don't know how things are going to turn out. And all you can do is trust in the Lord and just put your faith in Him. They saw a spark of hope when the girls were reunited for the second round of therapy. They let us put them together for the first time, and they recognized each other. It was huge. They started kicking and smiling, and they hadn't done that in a month. And I think it was a turning point. Uh, it really gave us hope to think that, you know, maybe we can get through this. Maybe uh, the Lord will choose to heal them. By October, the girls were well enough to go home and finish their treatments. Afterwards, they went for an MRI to determine if the therapy had worked. Two weeks before Christmas, they got the results. It was the 14th of December and the Christmas tree was lit. We had our parents over and we were celebrating um, just the season and got that phone call that they were considered no evidence of disease. And I remember hanging up the phone and just feeling like, really? Wow. We made it, our girls were healed, the Lord chose to heal them. This year, the girls will be celebrating another birthday, cancer free. It's a pretty big celebration and we tell them dad gives them fireworks for their birthday every year to celebrate their uh, sparkle in our life. Every year is a celebration for us and it, we realize that it's a miracle. I think in a situation like this, which potentially could have been a tragedy, not only having one child with cancer, but two children at the same time developing cancer. The fact that they both recovered are cancer free is a true miracle. And it's just really gratifying to see things like this happen. The twins healing was definitely a gift from God. He blessed them and chose them to be healed through the hands of the doctors and the nurses. There's no other way it can be explained. 
they were given a small chance for survival. And for them to come through and be as well as they are today, it was a miracle. There, there's no doubt in my mind it was a miracle. <laughs>